Ow, mine! Welcome to the Frick Cast. Today we have the Dr. Squatch Game of Thrones Collection. The latest collab from Squatch, featuring three unique bricks and a collector's box. All of course with the Game of Thrones theme. Now, I was a big Game of Thrones and a Song of Ice and Fire fan back in the day, so this is my type of collab. Before we get into my actual thoughts on the collection, I did have a lot of fun reviewing these. Like the Harry Potter collection, I enjoyed the theme and the collector's box, but unlike the Harry Potter ones, I wasn't all that thrilled with the bars themselves. Unlike previous collabs, the Game of Thrones collection features three bricks instead of four, and these are the Thousand Sword Scrub, inspired by the Iron Throne, and two Dragon Boys, Drogon's Blaze and Viserion's Freeze, inspired by their namesake dragons. Now just looking at the choice of themes, I do think this was a missed opportunity for Squatch to do some really cool bricks. I can only imagine how nifty bricks for the four great houses of Stark, Lannister, Targaryen, and Baratheon would have been. If you were dead set on three bars, and on having dragon bars, why not just replace the Thousand Sword Scrub with Daenerys' third dragon, Rhaegal? Have the Rhaegals rage or something, and have a nifty dragon trio. But regardless, this is what we got, so let's take a closer look at the trio. Now, I do have individual sip guides for each of these bars, if you want a more in-depth review of each. Today we'll just briefly go over all of them, as this video is more looking at the collection as a whole. Let's start with my least favorite of the lineup, the Thousand Sword Scrub. Now, despite what I just said a moment ago, I do think this theme is kind of cool. The name Thousand Sword Scrub is a cocky one, but it just doesn't live up to that hype. Despite its name, it's only listed as a medium grid, and even that's misleading, as in reality it's more light than anything. That alone kind of hurts the allure of the spar in my opinion, but it's really the scent that I find the most disappointing. Now a lot of you mains say it smells a lot like the King of the Bricks, but that's not quite what I got from it. I was actually retrying the Jurassic Bricks at the same time, so I had this bar nearby the King of the Bricks, but aside from the appearance, I just didn't really get the same vibe. To me this was just an artificial orange scent, like a candy smell, similar to the Cedar Citrus deodorant. Now I want to say that after a while, I did get some notes of cedar, and maybe could see what everyone was saying about it being close to the King of the Bricks, but honestly, my bars have no scent whatsoever anymore. They were already weak potency wise when I got them, but now they're just straight up nothing. And I got one in the collection and two more individual bars. Maybe I got a bad batch, or maybe this brick just kinda sucks. But let's move on to a better bar, but still an overall disappointing one. The Viserion's Freeze. I think at first this bar had the most appeal. A promising icy scent and a promising icy feel. The scent isn't disappointing, but it's nothing special either. It's got some potency to it, a pretty good amount, and it's an overall fresh, crisp, manly scent. It's icy with slight notes of pine and mint, but mostly it's just a sporty body wash scent. It smells kind of generic. It's again not bad, but Squatch has a lot of these types of scents now and I think it is one of the weaker ones. The reason I'm disappointed in this bar though, is its performance in the shower. Its main appeal was having menthol crystals, which I absolutely love. So when I used the bar and noticed it had no chilling effect, no cooling sensation like a menthol brick should, I was left disappointed. That was the whole appeal of this bar, and what made the ice dragon theme work, and without it, it's just a very basic brick, a basic bitch brick. Now I can be much more positive, as we're on to the third and final bar of the collection, and in my opinion, easily the best, the Drogon's Blaze. Maybe it's the added context of the other bricks it was surrounded by, or maybe it's just a good bar in its own right, but I really enjoyed using this one. Like the Ice Boy, this one has a pretty potent scent, but it goes in the opposite direction. This is much more of an amber scent, sweet with a touch of cinnamon. It's not spicy, but it adds a nice edge. It's something of a cologne style with a lot of warmth behind it. It's just very pleasant. The bar's also the best to use. The heavy grit isn't the heaviest out there, but it's certainly there. And if you're a grit lover like me, you're going to like the added exfoliation from the pumice. It's also noticeably more moisturizing and deep cleaning than its counterparts. Not one of the best on the whole Squatch menu, but better than the other two for sure. Really this brick manages to avoid the mistakes of the others by just not skipping out on what is supposed to make it unique. 
Of course, no collection is complete without the collector's box, and this is one of the better ones Squatch has made. Honestly, I think it's second only to the Harry Potter box. The design is cool, it's sleek, and the artwork on it really pops. You have the map of Westeros on the outside, and the portraits of Drogon and Viserion on the inside, all of which look really cool. I like the darker color scheme, I think it fits well with the Game of Thrones aesthetic. The box doesn't have quite the attention to detail as the Harry Potter one, but it looks a lot nicer than the Star Wars or Avengers ones in my opinion. It's one that will look cool on the shelf. Overall, I found the Game of Thrones collection to be a mixed bag. The bars were mostly disappointing. I like the Drogon's Blaze, but it's not like one of my all-time favorites or anything. I do like the contrast between the Drogon's Blaze and the Viserion's Freeze. At least scent-wise, you have a warm, sweet amber scent that compares nicely to the more sporty, icy, manly scent. The themes overall were cool, but could have been cooler. The box designs of the bricks and the collector's box itself are all nice and pretty nifty looking. So would I recommend getting this? Probably not, unless you're a Squatch collector or a big Game of Thrones fan looking to get into Squatch soap. These certainly aren't bad bars, but as with a lot of these collabs, there's just much better bricks on the Squatch menu that you don't have to pay up for. Still though, it's a fun collection. That's only my opinion though, and I'd love to hear yours in the comments. What do you mains think of the Game of Thrones collection? Let me know which brick was your favorite. And as always, Frick Nation, stay nifty. Yeah, oh man!